Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to actually use the new way that Notion just came out with to embed a Google Sheet inside of Notion. Um, so let's get started. As you can see, I have a note here that is actually the old way that you used to do it and the out output of that, where you actually get a representation of the Google Sheet inside of um, inside of this, you can actually see me, I can edit it. And that would actually be, and if I edit anything in here, it'll actually not only edit um, what I'm seeing in front of me, but it'll actually in real time update my Google Sheet in Google Docs. So it's really handy to do it this way. The disadvantage being that I have to use a shareable link. So let's see what we can do here. So much like I would edit the old way, hit the slash, start typing Google, here we go, Google Drive. There's a new option when you do that. Um, you have the old embed link, which is the way we did this one, but you also have this new option called Browse Google Drive. If you click that, you'll actually have the ability, um, once you've logged in the first time, for every subsequent um, time you try to do this, to choose your email hand, your Google handle and just click it. Once you do that, it will bring you to a basically a menu of all a bunch of tiles of your various spreadsheets. You click the one you want, you hit select, and it will create a rendering of your spreadsheet. Now, this is where it gets a little weird to me. Um, it's not really doing what the old embed functionality did. The old functionality, while a little more cumbersome to set up, actually literally created an embeddable, editable image of the spreadsheet in Notion. However, uh, with the new way of doing it, now it it just gives you basically a, a I'm guessing it's, I don't know if this is a PNG or a JPEG, but basically a, a basic representation, visual representation printout of your spreadsheet. If you go to edit it, what will happen is when you click it, I'll actually bring this in, you'll actually see it literally dumps me into my browser and dumps me into, um, you know, Google, Google Docs, Google Sheets. So um, I'm going to move this back off to the side, but you can see that's not really ideal. Um, it's good if you just want to have this secure, you're not really going to work on it, but you want to see it in Notion, but no understanding that you're going to have to work on it outside of Notion. If you're not comfortable with the shareable links, uh, which I'm not 100% comfortable with it, um, because the risk of someone else getting your link and then be able to do things, especially if you want to edit in Notion, uh, you have to kind of leave it wide open to do that. However, um, this is sort of like a, um, it's not a great solution to me. It, it's better, it, if, if you're comfortable with editing outside of it and you just want a visual representation, it's good. I would still probably go with the old way. If I wanted to edit in Notion, I kind of have to go with the old way. But if I just want to see the data and then if I, you know, as a sort of a placeholder, like basically as a picture link, um, where I click it and then it launches me into, um, you know, Google Docs, then that's fine. So uh, that's how you do it. Uh, please let me know in, my, in the comments um, if you like the new way or prefer the old way or which way you plan on using it. Uh, thanks and have a good night. Take care.